every year, around 2 million people in the UK are affected by seasonal affective disorder, a type of depression that's especially prevalent during winter months. And there is less sunlight. Now, but it's what causes the disorder and how do you know if you have it? Well, Dr Michael Mosley joins us now to tell us all about it. Good morning to you, Dr Mosley. You actually suffer from this, don't you? I do. I discovered while making a documentary about it uh, around three years ago that I had it, which was kind of ironic. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, qu um, it's quite common. And it comes on around this time of year. And as you were saying, it's linked to lack of sunlight. And uh, it can only be diagnosed really by the symptoms you have. There isn't a blood test or anything like that. And uh, it's that sort of persistent low mood which comes across you uh, around this time of year. There was a, uh, a Norwegian poet who said November, the worst three months of the year are November, November and November. And um, that was sort of, you know, a Nordic way of saying that this time of year is kind of when you get a bit gloomy and uh, it is persistent low mood. It is also um, very much it comes on, it goes away again. That's what distinguishes it from other forms of depression. And strangely enough, it's also linked to a craving for carbohydrates. So if you have it, you may find yourself <laughs> putting on weight at this time of year. Oh, great. Just hate winter. And, and, any excuse. How, do you, how did um, you realise you'd got it? Well, it was, as I said, it was uh, while I was making a documentary about it. And um, I have noticed uh, that I do get a bit gloomy. Um, and then I was um, interviewing a expert on it. And as part of that, um, they got me to fill in a questionnaire and give details. And yes, it turns out I have a sort of fairly low grade version of it. But she said, look, um, I could tell you, you have all the classic symptoms of okay. seasonal affective disorder. And uh, why not try some light therapy? And because, this um, here, you might notice next to us, and I'm going to switch on. I hope it doesn't scorch our viewers' retinas at home because you shouldn't look directly. Oh, I'm trying to put this on. Nothing like live television. Um, it, sh Ooh, it's not coming. There you go. it should be glowing brightly by now. It doesn't seem to be <laughs> Do you want to have a go at pressing that for me, Andrew? I've got such long nails. It doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, Is it on? It is plugged yeah. in and it's not going on. I don't, think we've, paid, I don't think we've paid the electric bill, Michael. <laughs> um, but these sorts of lamps <laughs> can be a really good treatment. imagine glowing and glowing with light. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just imagine it's glowing brightly. <laughs> Talk us through it. It's glowing brightly. What's it now doing to you, Michael? Uh, sure. So that should be producing um, around 10,000 lux of light. Now, in the studio, it's probably pretty bright. But where I am at the moment and in a typical home, it's more like um, 100 to 200 lux. It's pretty low light. So when you um, step outdoors on a bright summer's day, then you're getting around 10,000 lux. And that is what that lamp should be producing. And what happens is that then um, goes to the back of the brain. It, well, it goes through the eyes, it goes to different parts of the brain, um, and it activates some um, areas uh, linked to the production of melatonin and other things. And they think that it's also linked to the production of serotonin, which is a sort of feel-good hormone. And one of the reasons why people develop seasonal affective disorder is they're not producing enough serotonin. There seems to be a genetic component to it, but um, turning on the light absolutely brightens up your brain and brightens up your life, uh, both um, metaphorically but also physically. Well, guess what? Our very clever floor manager has <laughs> snuck into the studio and done exactly that, switched on this light. And Yay, um, okay. people can put these on, you know, for example, at home, we've got one of these lamps and I used right. to, I don't know where I've put it now, but a couple of winters ago, we put it on, on the breakfast table whilst the kids were having breakfast to try and boost. In November? Uh, the, yes, well, right. all through the winter. Okay. Um, and I don't know if it helped. And Can children be affected by SADS as well? Uh, yes, but it's more common, I believe, in adults. Um, I don't think they've explored children so much. Okay. But children obviously get different forms of depression. The problem with SAD is how you distinguish it from other things like low mood or indeed more severe forms of depression. So if you th really think that um, you have it, and as I said, it is persistent low mood, it is that craving for carbs, it's the inability to get out of bed in the morning, particularly during winter, and it comes and it goes. In other words, when the spring comes and you feel more cheerful, then you um, might have sad. If it's a persistent low mood across the year, then it's more likely that you have depression. And along with bright light, there yeah. are things like, for example, seeing... Uh, um, 
having cognitive behavioral therapy or maybe getting antidepressants if necessary. But um, yeah, oh, it's glowing away beautifully now. I can beautiful. see that. It's shining and I, bathing you with light. Yeah, I'm going to just put it in my face. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> And now you, hand there. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. I just, I just tempted Michael. Are you sure it's, this isn't really just about some grumpy old men don't like winter? Um, now that um, has indeed been what people uh, believed for quite a long time, right. and uh, it's, I'm sure there are grumpy old men who don't like winter. Hey, I'm probably one of them. Uh, but no, there have been uh, proper scientific investigations. Right. They do brain scans. They measure levels of serotonin. Uh, it's a real thing. Well, okay. Dr. Mosey, thank you so much for explaining all of that and being so honest. Now I've got a justification for having an, extra carb an, an portion. And as, <laughs> as you've lost your lamp, you can take this one. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to fight you for it. <laughs> OK, perfect.